Hi there YouTube, so today I'm going to be doing a favourites video, I guess it's November favourites, but some of these I've been using this month, not last month, so so I'm not actually sure what to call this, but it's a favourites video. So here we go, right, first thing, now the first thing that I have to talk about is a book actually, and this is The Monster Junkies, it is by Eric Sheen, and it is a comic kind of style book. So basically it's about a family, a kind of like gothy alternative family, as you can see like two of the main characters on the front there, and they live in this town and because they are quite different, a lot of the people in the town are quite nasty to them and they also are trying are like out to get them basically. But there are other people in the town that like them for being different. They see it in a positive way and they end up becoming friends. I don't want to like give too much of the story away but I really really enjoyed this book. I enjoyed it because it was engaging on every page. I didn't find it hard to sit down and read this at all. I really enjoyed it like constantly throughout. I also found it really funny. There's like, laugh out loud moments in this which is I really really do appreciate and I also just love like the style of the artwork it's just brilliant if you're someone that does like really interesting artwork then this is what it's all laid out like as you can see like the people in it are these two characters here they are quite alternative the main characters the family as they are gothy you can relate to them straight away you can relate to the struggles that they go through you just you're on their side and and you know like what they're going through you can relate to them which is not something that I've found with like, any other books that I've read so it's good to actually be able to find a book where I can relate to the characters in that way it's basically about an alternative family their dad like looks after endangered animals so it's gothy family endangered animals being looked after it is like perfect for me <laughs> it's like everything that I love um I'll just like flick through they the author very kindly signed it for me so thank you for that and I really enjoyed reading this I'm very sure that I'm going to read this again it's something that you can read over and over again and I probably will read it tonight actually <laughs> so yeah so yes the author is Eric Sheen and um, Eric Sheen and Teresa Gates they are the creators of the Monster Junkie series and I really think it's something that a lot of my subscribers would like because if you're like me and you're into like the gothy kind of stuff it's about that it's about a family that go through that and the ups and downs of being an alternative person the author very kindly sent it to me so thank you ever so much for that I shall leave a link down in the description to where you can get it from I believe you can get it from Amazon it's very creative some of the creatures in here are so cool but at the same time it's very realistic about how it reflects on real life and what it is like to be someone say in like the goth subculture or someone that's just different so I'm glad that this book exists for that reason. It's aimed at like teenagers, young adults I guess but I think any age could enjoy this book if you're into this kind of like style of reading and like maybe if you're like part of like say the goth subculture or something then I think it could be for everyone but especially like teens and early 20s I guess. Next up I got a couple of chokers, these are both from eBay and I got a black one, this is what it looks like here and it's got like three little poppers so you can choose the size that you want to have, they're kind of like fake leather so and I also got a uh, clear one so it's with the three poppers again with the heart in the middle again and these are both from eBay, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description to exactly where I got them because, because while on eBay there is a lot of stuff on eBay so they're very popular at the moment and all the chokers that I have are studded so I thought it would make a nice change to get this instead. More jewellery now and I got this necklace. This is from Claire's, Claire's Accessories and it's got a little cross and a little hoop there and it's kind of like in the style of like a rosary but it's not beaded at all. It's I guess you could call these beads but not like rosary style beads in any way and it's silver and yes I got a couple of other necklaces as well I got this one which if you saw my Halloween get ready with me video you would have seen like this on it silver again and like these like hanging down and so it just sits like that on your neck really really nice I love this one they are quite expensive though which is a bit annoying Claire's is a shop aimed at more like younger people so you would have thought it would be cheaper but it's not and this is the last one that I got and it's just like a plain silver chain 
and they had really really good stuff at Halloween. I wish that I knew earlier on but I found out right at the end of Halloween so I didn't get that much but these like the three I got so hopefully they still have things like this because I know that their shop can be quite girly I guess. This is why I don't want to call it a November favourites video. I got the Yankee Candle candle advent calendar. So this is what it looks like. It's so gorgeous and I wanted this so badly but it was £25 and I was like that's not worth it because okay I've got this like Mars bar one here. I don't know which was like I don't know 2 99 or something and you can still feel like you're getting into the Christmas spirit just by getting one of those but these are gorgeous and this is what it looks like. So you get these little candles that you'll get one of these every day and they smell gorgeous of course Yankee candles always do <laughs> they last a really long time and I just put them like on my fireplace every night although I'm a little bit behind because it's like 10th today and I'm only on I think I've opened five but like I was saying this was 25 pounds right I got this for 15 um, because I bought it at the beginning of December so I saved myself a bit of money there and I know it's like quite a bit further into December now but you've still got plenty of days to go so you can still get the candle, I've got a couple here that I haven't burned yet, I can still get the candles and enjoy using those as well as opening them every day up till the 24th and the 24th that one looks a bit bigger so that might be like a nicer fancier candle I'm not sure but it's also really pretty at the front. But yeah, it's worth just waiting like a couple of days into December and because I got this on the 2nd I think or 3rd and I got it £10 cheaper so I'd recommend doing that. These are all the different flavours, scents, flavours, what the hell am I on about? The next thing that I'll show you is this blouse. Now Primark are really good for blouses at the moment I have to say and I got this black one and I just hope that the lighting is good. I might like glare this like a little bit more. And it is this black sheer blouse. It's got three like lace panels on the back. Little lacy, as you can see, like lace panels at the back. Some frills either side at the back as well. And then at the front, um, it's got buttons like going all the way up to the collar where it's frilly. And so it comes up to here. And either side there are frills again. Um, it's long sleeve and then like, it kind of like goes in at the sleeves here, like elasticated. Yes, that is what it looks like and it kind of reminded me of like a new romantic kind of top so something they would have worn at the blitz club or something <laughs> last thing again i'm worried that you won't be able to see because of the terrible lighting but it is this black dress and this is from new look and it's a very very plain black dress so that's kind of also why it might be hard to see but it's like a v-neck it covers your whole back the other side and it goes like above the knees it's average length party dress i guess this is what i love about it it's got this layer here where it's lace. So as you can see, it's got this panel of lace and then like a panel of chiffon and then it's got like a panel of lace again, like going out into like a triangle. Um, so that's what the lace looks like. And that just like goes all the way like around like the skirt area. So it's all lace and chiffon. And then the top bit is plain black. It does come with this belt, so it's quite shiny. And yeah, this is from New Look. This is the kind of thing that will be flattering on anyone because it's quite tight at the top and it goes out. So if you're like me and you don't like your tummy, then it hides all that. And that's why I always look for in a dress. Like, I hate wearing tight fitted dresses so much. And those are all my favourites for the month. So I guess next month will be like a Christmas haul, but I will see you before then anyway. But until then, have a lovely day and I will see you again very soon. Bye everyone.